Good afternoon, Georgian Temple family. I want to address the coronavirus issue regarding the church. Each church and pastor are entitled to have their own opinion and implement their own strategy for addressing whether to hold or cancel their church services. And they should not be judged, neither should they be rebuked. The virus is killing people around the world and it's destroying the health of others. So let us not give way to division in the body of Christ. At Jordan Temple, our priority is the safety and well-being of our membership. Before making any decisions, we strive to get the facts and information from well-informed, educated, and proven professionals and that are closer to the situation than we are. We have also consulted with people in some of the areas around the country that have been severely impacted and affected by the virus. Last Friday, I had a long conversation with a friend of mine that's heading up a major corporation out of Seattle, Washington. And he was able to enlighten me as to how the government, businesses, community leaders, and churches were handling the matters there. He also gave me advice on how the community responded once the death toll in Seattle began to rise. With that information, I was able to alert our membership and many of you were able to buy the essential items for your household ahead of the crowd. Keep in mind, new information is coming in each day and each hour. Just yesterday, Governor Pritzker announced that public schools will be closing next Tuesday and for us to avoid any gatherings that was over 250 people. The federal and local medical and government teams have studied the trend of viruses in other countries and have closely analyzed past outbreaks of diseases and concluded that the best approach to take is to identify and contain the viruses. The virus cannot be contained if we continue about our daily routines of work, pleasure, and church. Society must stop moving and interacting with each other if there is to be success in containing and eliminating the virus. There is no other known method to restrict the spread and transmission of this type of virus. When we are ill, we take the advice of medical professionals, so let's not ignore them now. We believe the church must do its part, as every other industry and organization, including the entertainment business, the sports industry, the travel and le uh, leisure business, and now even the retail businesses have. Slow down, stop the movement, and curtail large gatherings so that we can collectively defeat the virus. We have a responsibility to partner with the governor, the government, and society. If the church at large excludes itself from following both international and national safety practices, then it is going to be much more difficult to defeat the coronavirus. With that said, Jordan Temple is canceling tomorrow's worship service. We know we are making the right and proper decisions. As new information and directives come in, we will adjust our strategies and certainly will keep you apprised. Tomorrow, you will be able to use our church app to watch a sermon. Just go on the home page and click on video on the top menu bar. We may also use Facebook Live, so watch for an announcement tonight. Although we may not be in the same room on Sunday, we'll be gathering on video and phone lines together almost every day until this situation is over. In closing, we are not making this decision because of fear. After what I've been through medically, mentally, and spiritually, fear I have nothing to do with because I know that my God is on my side. We make this decision because we sincerely care and love and appreciate the members of Jordan Temple. We value your safety, your health, your family, and your life. And we would never, ever jeopardize not one member of our church. Be assured 
This is not a fear decision. It's a safety decision. I don't think God would frown upon us cherishing his people. Let's help keep our families, friends, and community safe. I appreciate you for being understanding and patient during this time of crisis. And pray that God gives you the peace of mind, protection from this virus, and endurance so that we can hold out until this virus is defeated. Prayerfully, we will be gathering again real soon. May God keep you and may God bless you.